North America's widespread ash tree species faces extinction due to an invasive beetle which is destroying their populations, conservation experts have warned. More than 8 billion ash trees could be wiped out as the emerald ash borer beetle, which arrived in Michigan from Asia in the late 1990s via infested shipping pallets, spreads through woods and cities in the U.S. and Canada, they said. Five of the most significant species of ash have been listed in the International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, Red List of Threatened Species as Critically Endangered, considered just one step from extinction, and the sixth is endangered. The latest update of the Red List also reveals there have been dramatic declines for grasshoppers and millipedes in Madagascar, while five species of African antelopes are declining fast. The Christmas Island Pipistrelle bat, which was found only on the Australian island, has been declared extinct, having not been seen despite extensive searches since 2009. There is better news for the elusive snow leopard which, thanks to new data, has been moved from endangered to the less at-risk vulnerable category, though its population continues to decline due to poaching, persecution and fewer prey. The IUCN Red List now includes 87,967 species, of which 25,062 are threatened with extinction, being listed in the most high-risk categories critically endangered, endangered or vulnerable to extinction. The plight of North American ash tree species highlights one of the major threats to wildlife, that of invasive pests due to human activities. The emerald ash borer spreads rapidly and can kill most of a forest stand of ash within six years of infestation. Its spread also highlights the danger to species of climate change, with areas that were previously too cold for the beetle becoming warmer and more suitable for it to thrive. Three of the five ash species listed as critically endangered green ash, black ash and white ash make up nearly 9 billion trees in forests across the U.S., with major economic and environmental value. Experts at Kew Gardens, London, have previously warned there was a real chance it could turn up in the UK, hitting ash populations which are already damaged by the fungal disease ash dieback. Inger Andersen, IUCN Director General, said, Our activities as humans are pushing species to the brink so fast that it's impossible for conservationists to assess the declines in real time. Even those species that we thought were abundant and safe such as antelopes in Africa or ash trees in the U.S., now face an imminent threat of extinction. She said that, while conservation action worked, protecting forests, grasslands and other habitats that humans relied on was not a high enough funding priority. Our planet needs urgent, global action, guided by the Red List data, to ensure species' survival and our own sustainable future, she said. The conservation status of five African antelopes, the giant eland, mountain reedbeck, Huglands gazelle, southern ledge and grey rebok, has worsened, with species facing problems including livestock grazing, poaching, droughts and sport hunting. An assessment of Madagascan pygmy grasshopper shows almost 40% are threatened, with seven listed as critically endangered, including the rumpless stiltskin pygmy grasshopper while 40% of millipedes are also facing extinction. The new red list also shows Fungary's disc-nosed bat, found only in southern Thailand, is critically endangered due to loss of habitat. But the Rodriguez flying fox, found only on the Mauritian island of Rodriguez, has moved from critically endangered to endangered thanks to improved habitat and legal protection and greater awareness.